Detecting vibrations in space. American and European astrophysicists have come together to do just that. Here in Livingston, Louisiana, they're working to pick up gravitational waves in the cosmos, because it turns out the universe isn't still. Instead, it's as though it were filled with jelly, which vibrates when masses, like stars, move through it. As they travel, these masses warp space and generate ripples, which move at the speed of light. This is what happens to space itself. It stretches in one direction and it compresses the other. And here's a gravity wave at a certain frequency. The frequency is once a second or something like that. The problem scientists have had is the further you are from the source of these waves, the harder it is to detect them. It's been a century since Albert Einstein theorized about these gravitational waves, but now scientists are revealing their findings. In the last few months, American observatory LIGO, working in collaboration with French-Italian research center Virgo, have finally managed to detect pulses of gravitational waves caused by the collision of two black holes. And this is the key. We're only able to pick up gravitational waves caused by the most violent cosmic phenomena, like the birth of a black hole or the explosion of a massive star. Anything smaller, and we aren't able to detect it from Earth. Un des buts ultimes de la recherche des ondes gravitationnelles, c'est de faire une photo du Big Bang. Le Big Bang produit plein d'ondes gravitationnelles, et si on observait ces ondes gravitationnelles là, on aurait une photo du Big Bang un milliardième de seconde après le Big Bang. La photo la plus ancienne du Big Bang. Just like the theory of relativity a century ago, the detection of gravitational waves opens up a new kind of science, gravitational astronomy. 